What's going on everybody and welcome to the fourth episode of The Stein. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Stone Brewing Company's Japanese Green Tea IPA. We get the Stone Brewing Company's Japanese Green Tea IPA here. Uh, this is the second time this beer has been released. The first was in 2011. It's a collaborative effort between Baird, Stone, and Ishii. Ishii is located in Guam and Baird is located in Japan. We're looking at a really nice golden orange color on pour. Uh, it's a hazy beer, light carbonation. The head's about a finger width, settles to about half a finger width, and then it kind of stays pretty consistent. Beautiful looking beer in the glass. So we're getting an apricot, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, this apricot definitely, an apricot smell, uh, nice fruity ester that's really leading the charge. Uh, underneath that you're getting a really smooth uh, green tea herbal smell, there's definitely some maltiness to it, but that apricot smell is holy crap man, that is just, it fills your nose so good! Ugh! So right away you get nailed with this beautiful like ballet of citrus flavors. There's a lot of grapefruit, so you get some bitterness there. You're getting some orange zest, some lemon zest, followed up by this honey, caramely, malty flavor, a little bready. And then underneath that is this nice tea herbal flavor that's just kind of sits on the palate and washes over. And it's a nice foundation for these other really like sharper flavors. The mouthfeel of the beer is very delicate, but it fills your mouth with flavor. Even a little sip, you taste it. Your whole mouth, your whole palate is activated. It's excellent. Nice piney finish. The aftertaste is a little bit of like this bitter flavor. You, you kind of get that lingering citrus flavor and a little bit of the lingering uh, herbal flavor in your mouth before it dissipates fairly quickly. As far as drinkability goes, the beer is definitely drinkable and since it's a limited time release, I would definitely dive on it and give it a try because it's a really nice complex mixture of flavors. A little bit of numbers on this, it's an American Double slash Imperial IPA, so you're going to want to serve it between 46 and 54 degrees in a tulip, a large wine glass, or a sniffer. This particular beer is 10.1 alcohol by volume. On the IBU scale, they can range between 65 and 100. I didn't find this beer as bitter as I expected, so I'm only going to give it about a 66 to 67, but that's going to change with your palate. And on the SRM scale, it's between 15 and 17. The Stone Brewing Company is in California. I said it that way because I want to. I'm on the East Coast over here, and I managed to get my hands on that 22 ounce bottle because Stone distributes pretty much nationwide. You should be able to get this beer. It is a limited release, so I definitely suggest not sitting on it, going out and getting that beer. It was first released in 2011. It's 2015 now. That's a four-year gap. If you miss this, you might have to wait another four years to try this stunning beer. So don't do that. Go get the beer right now. That's going to wrap it up for the uh, Stone Brewing Company's Japanese Green Tea IPA. A most excellent beer. Oh, it's so hazy and beautiful. I'm gonna go finish this bottle off while I sit down and relax and have me a delicious cheese board. Hmm. I dropped some links in the description below. Check me out on Facebook and on Twitter. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what beers you'd like to see show up on the Stein and what brewing companies you think I should check out. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, be safe, drink responsibly, and cheers.